Hi, this is Kate at Computer Care Kelowna, and I'm here to show you a little bit about Internet Explorer 9. Now, I'm getting quite a few emails and questions from customers saying, I can't find my favorites, I hate this thing, I can't find anything, how do I uninstall it? And I'm going to answer some of those questions for you right here and now. Now, um, if you're used to seeing menus and favorites and that kind of thing on, uh, on your Internet Explorer, I can understand that. I like that better too. But out of the box, it comes with just this bare bones kind of menu. We got nothing up here. And uh, if you want to turn that on, I'll show you how to do it. First of all, if you want to view your favorites with just this sort of sparse interface, you, you know that you can just click on the star and here are your favorites. Okay, your history is here, your favorites are here. I, I don't use that so much, so I don't have very many favorites, but if I did, this is where they'd be. And here's my history. Again, not very many things because I don't use it that much, but here it all is. So favorites are here. And if you want to keep this open, you click on this little arrow here that says Pin Favorites Center, and it's over here on the left. And if you hate that it takes up all this stupid space, just resize it. There you go. Um, if you get tired of that, turn it off. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not what I meant by favorites. What I really meant was the bar that goes across here. Okay, we can turn that on. The first thing to do is to press the Alt key on your keyboard. Now, I mean, this is a screencast, so you can't see me doing it, but I'm doing it now and watch what happens. See, we get the familiar menu back. Um, and if we click on View, and then we click on Toolbars, anything with a check next to it is, is going to stay on all the time. So the first thing you might want to do is turn on the menu bar. Now you've got all this stuff here. And back to View, and then Toolbars. And then you can turn on the Favorites bar. So if this is what you're used to seeing, only you probably have a lot more of them, that's how to turn it on. And if you just want to add a site like computercarecolona.com, to your favorites, visit that site, click on the star here, and, and now there it is uh, you know, on, your, on your favorites bar. You can also always go to favorites here and find, find them that way. So that's a lot more like what you're used to, but um, if you want to kind of rock and roll with the new interface, you can always go up here to view and turn those toolbars off. And again, if you if you turn off that menu bar and you can't remember how to get back to it, press the Alt key. That displays it momentarily. Then you can turn that on again. Okay? The other way to get to the settings and things like that is to press this tools icon. It's a little gear. And, you know, here's your familiar stuff that you're used to seeing across the top. It's all here. You just have to look for it. Now, if you still really, really, really hate Internet Explorer 9, and I don't blame you, and you want to go backwards, you can uninstall it. Um, it's just a little different process than you're used to because it's it's not really a program. If you click on Start and then you go to Control Panel and then you go to Programs and I, I'll move that window down so you can see it. Um, instead of just uninstall a program which is where you might expect to find it, it's not really a program. It's an update. So we click on View Installed Updates, 
And I will resize this for ease of viewing. And you can see I have quite a few updates. It's just continuing to load. So, I mean, if I were to scroll down here, I could spend a long time looking for it. The easiest way to do this in Windows 7 or Vista, which is the only thing that is going to be running Internet Explorer 9, is to search for it in the search bar right here. Just type in Internet. Wow, there it is. Okay, so you select Internet Explorer 9. You click on uninstall, and I'm not going to uninstall it, but if, uh, if I clicked on that, it would kick off the uninstall program. Follow the prompts. You should close all your programs, save your work, uh, because you are going to be required to restart the computer. But once you complete the uninstall and reboot the computer, you will return to the version of Internet Explorer that you had previously to Internet Explorer 9. So for most of us that'll be Internet Explorer 8. Now, I, I mean, I'll caution you if you've used like beta versions or something like that, this uninstall procedure might not work, but for most of us should be fine. So I hope that helps. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.